Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to be just doing a real quick uh, 3D input based on the last video that I made. It was done in 2D. Uh, that was based on a sketch. So have a look at that video if you haven't already. I won't uh, be going through too many of the things that I covered in the first video, but uh, this one will be more of a, a demo showing you how similar the 2D input is as compared to 3D. So MechQ makes it super simple uh, to you know, create 3D models. The only thing that you need to really do is be aware of your snapping and you know your dim scale settings, which are covered in another video, which I'll leave a link to, uh, and uh, the plotting, which is another video as well that I'll link to below. But um, for the most part, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, but the first thing we'll need to do is go into a 3D view, and you do that by clicking on the top view here and going down to Southwest Isometric. Um, now, the dim scale needs to be set for this example to 12, which I'm uh, going to be using when I do my bubbling of the model or my bill of materials. So I'll be showing you a little bit on how to do that. Um, and then your object snaps. So if you right click here, go to eSnap, just turn on these three here, uh, endpoint, center, and node. Make sure that this is turned on. And also polar tracking is turned on. So these two things. Um, now if we go into our DDIM command, we want to make sure this is set to standard, which it is. Um, in uh, the standard, you'll see, you come down and you'll see, let's see, the symbols and arrows, and then the arrow size. Um, so this is where you can adjust that size, but it should be in this range. I wanted to show you that. So that's in the previous video as well. Um, so let's get started. So let's open up the ortho piping. We've got 3D draw mode selected here. And it's the same uh, pipe type. We're going to be doing a three inch, just like before. Then let's go ahead and just start drawing. Um, so we're gonna first come down here, 12 inches. And then over three feet. I'm doing direct distance input here. So if you're not familiar on how to do that, have a look at my um, elementary piping video, which I'll link to as well uh, below. Uh, we'll just do five foot here. Let's zoom down a little bit. And then we're going to be coming over and notice how you're not seeing any piping here yet. It's because MetQ works one step prior. So that to when you get to, to the end of your pipe run, you'll need to hit the enter key, which I'll show you. So for this run here, it's 93 and a half inches, if I remember right from the last video. And as I mentioned, you'll need to press the enter key to complete the run. So that essentially puts the run in for you, or the whole um, piping spool, I guess you could call it. Um, if you remember in the last video, we did have a valve here and we had uh, a piece of pipe here. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in. So uh, if we go into MetQ, double click on the valve, Make sure this is user defined. We have our clay valve here, which we established in the last video. Uh, but we want actually a, a gate valve. We'll do the clay uh, in another spot. Let's see, this is, was set to 11.675. Um, we want the draw handle and we'll just choose it here. Now we need to snap to the midpoint of the flange. So I'm hovering over the edge of flange here and you'll see the little green 
uh, indicator there stating that I'm snapping to the center. So I left click and then go into the upstream direction which is here and that puts my I have to locate my actuator here and I've used my shift key to lock in the, the Z direction there so um, let's just put a 30 inch or no it's a, it was an 18 here so we'll just type 18 enter and then exit now we can bring this piece down to meet this piece so we'll choose that by crossing type the M command and then we'll just hover over the edge here and then do the same thing here so now we have most of all the piping run done uh, in the last video we had two valves here so let's just put those in real quick our first valve is going to be the clay valve which we click the detail it's set to 20 inches um, and then we'll pick it from this point here here and then the upstream direction here the actuator we don't really want an actuator so we'll put one in anyways um, I'll show you how to turn that off here shortly um, for the next valve we're just going to choose this again we'll choose the check valve that I believe was set to 14 and we're going to turn our draw handle off here so that's where you want to do that pick this one press enter and that puts in that other valve now if we wanted to we can continue on with the straight piece so let's just do that while we're in the mode here press enter and then in the direction of flow we type in 30 inches let's erase this piece here and then for this last piece this was our um, flow meter um, so let's just show that as a straight piece press enter and then hover over the edge there and then press enter again so if we wanted to we could come back like the last video and we choose the pipe edit and we change this to flow meter so that it doesn't come out on our bill materials wrong type it out okay if we wanted to we could modify this fitting a little bit uh, with some 3d tools but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to keep it the way it is okay so let's do uh, let's turn off our um, anti snaps and the reason I'm doing this is I don't want the leaders to be snapping to any of these um, areas on my uh, model. So I'm going to clear this and then I'm going to go down and just going to be doing a bill of materials on these three pieces. So let's fire up the bill of materials again. We'll go into options. We'll choose bomb config and we'll make sure that this is turned on add bomb balloons and unique item for each pipe so that's going to uh, create a bubble for each individual piece of pipe and then choose bill of materials here and then here we're just going to do the uh, pick a few pieces versus the entire drawing here so we have this check to pick um, 
we're building our bomb uh, table downwards. Um, if you want to change any of these settings and they're grayed out, you can always reset this table or this uh, dialog here, um, which I'll do just for uh, demonstration. So it warns you that all the uh, bubbles and all the tables will be erased. You choose OK for that. And then as soon as you do that, all these things are unlocked. Now the reason why it grays it out is because I've been using and uh, testing this previously, so this is not a brand new drawing. In order to unlock that, you would need to reset it. Um, so let's um, uh, go ahead and uh, create the bill of materials. It's asking down here, uh, select the entities. So we're just going to itemize these three pieces here with the gaskets. Press enter. Now it wants the orientation plane. We always choose Z when we're in uh, 3D. Now you can see that the cursor is rubber banding from the midpoint of uh, this piece of pipe. Now that's basically it's saying down here what that item really is. So there's two ways of telling. One is where the cursor is and the other is the label. Uh, make sure that uh, ortho uh, mode is turned off otherwise you may not see the leader correctly and that's the reason being is because ortho is really a 2D functionality. Uh, so make sure that that's turned off. Uh, our first point is going to be where our leader starts. As you can see, my cursor is rubber banding from the midpoint of, of that piece of pipe. Now, if I had my object snap on, what could happen is I could accidentally snap to the end point or um, to the center or something like that. So this gives me the freedom to place a point anywhere I want without having to snap. So my first point is going to be where, I'm, where my leader actually starts. And then my second point is going to be up here somewhere. And then I press enter. The next piece, as you can see, is a clay valve. So we're just going to do the same thing. We'll pick it here. The third is the check valve. And then the gaskets. So we'll do these up here. Now it wants to insert the table. So we'll just um, put a point over here. And as you can see, our pipe is here at 30 inches and then we have our, our valves and our gaskets. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link uh, as well. I may have mentioned this earlier, how to plot this as, as well because that's a really important step. Uh, that I'm not going to cover here, uh, as well as dimensioning. So the dimensioning of the model. I'll leave a link there too as well for that. But I hope this was helpful and feel free to email or call me. The number here is 888-271-7121 or you can uh, reach me at info at cadavenue.com. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.